Welcome back to Magnificent Living Today. And now is my favorite part of the show. I'm actually going to get a massage, and Alexis is going to do the questions. So we're back. Nina's going to do the massage. Alexis is asking questions, and I am relaxing. So go on. <laughs> the age-old art of massage. This is Nina, and Nina's going to be giving Carl a wonderful massage. Uh, one of the things that we think of when we think of massage is that relaxation. Do you know? One of the... One of the the best ways to increase your serotonin levels is to relax. So Nina's going to start. She's going to start with one of the places that all of us hold our tension. We all hold our tension in our traps, the area that is between the ears and the shoulders, or the shoulder blades. It's usually where we hold a lot of tension because we tend to, if you notice, we have our shoulders up. When we're tense about something, we don't even realize it. But massage lends a lot to just being able to be still and reconnect with yourself and I wish I was in that massage chair and, <laughs> <laughs> and it also was self-empowering do you know self-empowering think about people that are never touched or babies that are never touched human touch is so so very important to us and one of the ways that you can reconnect and do that is through massage now, a lot of times people think that massage is something that is a luxury. It's not a luxury anymore. Once you have one <laughs> and you have it once a, once a month or once every couple of months, if, if you start, it's a very hard habit to release. So we would suggest, how often would you suggest getting massage? My suggestion for a massage, if nothing's going on with you, if there's no problems, no health issues, um, anywhere between a four to six week time frame would be like what I consider your maintenance time frame. Mm -hmm. For me, I love massages. I would get one every week, every other day, whenever it's available. So I, if you can do it four to six weeks, that's wonderful. Uh, there's a lot of places now that offer massage, even a place called uh, Massage Envy, where you can get massages for $49. They're so prevalent now. There was a time when, when I remember when I went to the Baltimore School of Massage back in 97, massage therapy, they used to call uh, massage therapists masseuses, and we don't exactly like that name. <laughs> we kind of want to stay away from the masseuse title. Exactly. And why is that? Because there's a conflict between a massage therapist and a happy ending kind of massage. Yes. And, and this well, is not that, obviously. I'm going to be happy at the end. You'll be happy. It'll be in a more professional setting. Exactly. <laughs> So it's gone through many transitions since its inception. It's uh, culturally diverse, it's across, it's across centuries, it's across cultures. And here in this country, maybe about 15, 20 years ago, they didn't really have regulations for massage. And then over maybe the last, what, 10, 11, 12 years maybe, you have a national association now, there are statewide associations that want to ensure that people are getting certified massage therapists for their own protection and also so that it's regulated. Right, it's nationally certified. It's um, also governed through the Board of Chiropractors. Absolutely. Um, State of so Maryland. there's a whole lot of uh, backing and uh, relax, a lot of backing <laughs> that is now added to this whole, whole process. And that's just to, to make it a professional, uh, professional uh, job. If it's not done professionally, then again, people have that concept of. You then know, that's when you're the masseuse. massage therapist. That's exactly. <laughs> not to say that you can't be trained, as a, but you go through all the different um, segments of professional training. You get to learn a lot more about the human body than you know we ever would have imagined, mm -hmm. um, and how to safely work with people. To make a long story short. Some of the benefits of massage include increasing circula circulation. So we've not talked yet about detoxing, but increasing your circulation in your body is extremely, extremely beneficial for moving toxins out. So when, whenever you get a massage, it's really, really important to drink a lot of water after the massage because now that the, the uh, circulation is increasing because of the manipulation of the tissue, and that's what, what actually, even though he has clothes on in this situation, still the tissue is being manipulated, exactly. which means that the circulation is increasing, there's more blood flow, he's feeling wonderful right about now. <laughs> Am I still <laughs> awake? <laughs> <laughs> but in terms of uh, detoxifying, it's a wonderful adjunct to uh, fasting or cleansing. 
Matter of fact, I, I always specify uh, with my clients to possibly get a massage if they can when, they, when they're doing a cleansing program. It's a, good, um, it's a good combination. And it goes good with a lot of other types of healing, alternate healing. Absolutely. Um, whether it's uh, people that do acupuncture, acupressure, whether they go and do yoga um, and see a chiropractor, those things work to, together well with the body. The body needs transition, it needs clearing. And uh, when you add all these things together, you come out with a happy ending. <laughs> In most cases, I would think it would be definitely a good ending point. Okay. And the other pluses are, of course, there's so many techniques with massage. Uh, there's deep tissue massage, there's myofascial release, there's uh, Swedish massage is probably one of the most popular ones. It is the most popular. Mm -hmm. Deep Swedish. tissue massage uh, does exactly what it says. It, it goes deep into the tissue to, once again, help alleviate any tight muscle, any uh, blockages of energy as well. And there is energy. Uh, we talked about that for a brief moment, that everything is energy. Definitely. We talked about that on the last show. And so massage is one of those things that not only is she, you see her physically doing something, but energetically, things are moving around as well, <laughs> you know, rest assured. Uh, myofascial release actually goes a little deeper than deep tissue. Myofascial moves the fascia, which is right under the skin, and it works on an even deeper level, on a cellular level. So it's, uh, it's very, very effective for all kinds of things. Of course, there are contraindications with some things like, um, like arthritis and um, what else? Like well, people some that are uh, the uh, patients, cancer patients, if mm -hmm. they've just had any treatments, whether it's chemo or radiation, um, you want to wait you know, until after that a few days have passed. Mm -hmm. Even if you're not sure, you can always check with your physician. Um, things that are flared up, um, things that are um, localized to the skin, you know, different mm -hmm. types of conditions or a real bad case of um, like a breakout, a rash, mm -hmm. you know, it, you know, massage doesn't have any side effects. It's just things that you have to pay attention to and know, you know, you avoid that area and the rest of the body can still get a massage. Mm -hmm. Or if you just got a really bad flu, you know, give yourself a few days, you know, mm -hmm. more likely you're not going to want to go out anyway, but, um, there's so many more things that massage is good for than it's not, mm -hmm. definitely. Absolutely. And there are so many modalities of massage. People, they don't realize definitely. the reflexology uh, Absolutely. is a wonderful modality. And it's, right. it's ancient, ancient comedic reflexology. Yes. And reflexology, basically, your hands and your feet and your ears are like patterns to the rest of your body. Every, exactly. every point in your hands and your feet is connected directly to an organ. And so when those are manipulated, it works directly on the organ. It's fascinating. It helps to send that um, mm -hmm. energy through the reflexes mm -hmm. of the body. You know, I, if you look at a, a grid, uh, like from a Chinese point of view, uh, we have lines that run from the top of our heads down to the bottom of our feet, in between each toe and down the arms, down in between the fingers. So in between, that's where the energy can be flowing um, along with connecting with the glands and uh, the organs. And then if there's blockage by uh, applying reflexology, you're able to hopefully open up some of the blockage and get the body to facilitate its own healing. And that's the real point of any of these types of um, modalities, mm -hmm. um, is to help the body facilitate healing. Mm -hmm. And to restore, rejuvenate, um, all those wonderful things, improve your circulation, blood flow, um, muscle tone, improvement, um, just detoxifying and de-stressing, which is a huge thing. Mm -hmm. And so many uh, medical conditions that it can support. You know, it's just Sp wonderful. Sports-related injuries so great for those. Definitely sports-related. Definitely related. sports. Mm -hmm. Sports-related. Um, and there are specific uh, massage therapists that specialize in sports massage. Yes. You know, that, that work at the games. And so it's not just the football players and so forth, but you can go, if you're exactly. highly athletic, you can go... Uh, to a massage therapist that specializes in sports massage, you know, and they work with specific muscles and so forth. Even breaking down scar tissue. Absolutely. Scar tissue, that's mm -hmm. right. Mm -hmm. Scar tissue, and that, it's interesting with scar tissue too. Say for instance, you've got a scar that is over a joint. Massage can actually, if it's done uh, correctly and consistently, can allow more mobility between, you know, the, where the joint is and so forth. So it's an excellent modality, and yeah. it's something that 
you should really incorporate in your monthly <laughs> in your monthly <laughs> repertoire of what to do things to, make to do you for yourself. <laughs> Definitely. <clears throat> the, the, the way that I met Nina is I went to get a massage and <laughs> What caught me by surprise was is that I had my hip replaced and I had never allowed anyone else to touch that mm -hmm. or I wouldn't even touch it myself. <laughs> so when she stood, yeah, because it was ugly, you know, I look at the scar and I think, oh, I don't want to touch it. Mm -hmm. And she went right in there and started working on it. <laughs> and the next day I was walking like I was eight years old. I was like, oh, right. <laughs> it's a wonderful thing. It's, it you know, like that story versus so many more stories. Um, it is just the best when people come back and tell you how mm -hmm. they were helped. I hear now more often than not when I um, work with people repeatedly um, that the problem they initially came in for they no longer have. Mm -hmm. A lot of times I think I'm going to lose people after that, but people <laughs> come back. They come back because they want the rest of what they're getting. Absolutely. And that's um, mm -hmm. the whole, just that whole therapeutic touch, mm -hmm. uh, reset, uh, pick the body up, so mm -hmm. to speak. It, it offers all those things. For the most part, you know, I haven't seen it very too many people that walk out and say, okay, I, I, I feel awful now, mm -hmm. and I don't really ever um, get anything that, you know, in reverse of what we what people came in originally for. Mm -hmm. They may, um, I guess at the most or least, they may um, not give you a lot of feedback, but I think overall, just because I've been connected with so many people, mm -hmm. there's something inside that feels better mm -hmm. of their body. Can you tell me some of the, can you share with the audience some of the techniques, techniques. that you're using? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. So most of what I've been doing is like a combination of Swedish style. Swedish style is your, um, your long strokes, uh, overhand strokes, um, you know, s some uh, circular motion. The fists uh, can be soft fists. It can be a real heavy fist, which will take you into more of a deep tissue. This with the elbow is a deep tissue style move. Yeah. Um, and uh, topotment. So <laughs> yeah, topotment is just topotment, but it can still be incorporated with deep tissue because you can really get in and get the drum beat going. But it helps with circulation uh, and picking that body up. Uh, um, wait, the myofascia. <laughs> yeah, myofascia is more concentrated with usually thumbs. You're taking and pushing into the tissue and just waiting for the muscle to release. Mm -hmm. And you can go further and further into the tissue, stay in the area so that you can finally get, you know, the results you're looking for, mm -hmm. that release. And um, then we have a lot of other type of modalities. Um, reflexology, of course, is with um, the hands and feet. I mean, with the hands, just to give you an idea, um, you can, you know, after you've waken up the hand and loosened up the tissue, you then start with the technique of thumb walking. They call it caterpillar walking, thumb walking. And the reason they, we do that is because Hands and feet have tons and tons of nerve endings, mm -hmm. and this is a way to try to capture and break down um, and get into um, sending up that energy flow that we need to. Um, there's a lot of different techniques. People can design their massage the way they want. They can ask for some deep Swedish, some deep tissue. Mm -hmm. Then you get more into the specialty people that do um, energy work, um, there's more skeletal style work, mm -hmm. um, rehabilitation style work, um, the list goes on. When I started school, I was told that there were 60 modalities, and since I've been out of school, that list is probably double, if not more now. There's been a lot of more creation with mm -hmm. this um, whole massage business. But basically, whether it's acupuncture or acupressure or shiatsu or massage, most of them are based on the meridians, which are the energy centers that go down the body. They're very fine energy centers. And even when she's working on certain points in the body, the trigger points, they open up blockages. They open up energy to flow into everywhere that it needs to. So that if there's any blockages, usually where someplace that is hurting. You know, I That's found right. that in, in acupuncture, when I used to go to, I have a seventh generation acupuncturist, she's wonderful. Excellent. And I noticed that whenever I would hurt, it would always be someplace that was, energy was blocked. Do you know? And once the, you know, after the treatment, it would disperse. But those were the only times that the uh, needles would hurt going in. Everything okay. else you couldn't really feel. Right. So basically, you uh, can tell. yeah, the meridians are, are, are one of the keys. And also, 
Another key that's really important with massage therapists is, is that you have a chemistry with them. Chemistry yes, is extremely important. important. So after you watch this and you go out and find a massage therapist, <laughs> make sure that you have a really good chemistry. Just be authentic with yourself because that's part of what probably happened between the two of you. You know, there's a connection and right. there's a comfort feeling because that's, that's key. And if everyone, and then it's just to add to that, people find what, what works for them. Right. And, you know, I know right. that there's been clients I may have had, then they had a few other of the therapists, and then they went with them because it was either the, the style of the touch, mm -hmm. the depth of the touch, or um, the connection. Right. And so that's very, very important. So we, um, we try to, the objective with doing this is to say that we, um, to be able to give them what they're looking for and not what we want to do. Mm -hmm. We want to make sure we can get in and uh, provide them the best service by knowing what their needs are. Okay. So listening is very important. Well, Nina started, when she gave me my first massage, she started with my feet, and by the time she got to my ankles, I was like, done. pretty good. <laughs> she got to my calf muscles, and I'm like, okay, I'm going to see you as often as possible. <laughs> okay, so we have about five minutes. Is there anything else that you want to share with us about massage that, that you can tell our community that would encourage them, besides me saying, please do it, you'll feel wonderful? <laughs> What do you think? As far as else? encouragement and mm -hmm. what I would offer is to just know that um, there, every massage session does count. Um, always think of this as another way to improve you, mm -hmm. to know that um, it doesn't require um, any medical intervention, any real, t you know, taking you out of a comfort zone. It's um, it has all the wonderful benefits. So if you stop and think about, okay, I need another way to detoxify myself. I need another way to improve my muscle tone. I need to give my body a treat after I work out really hard. Um, I have an emotional situation. Things are going down, down, down. Um, come give yourself a lift. Come and see what it's all about if you've never tried it. Don't be, af don't be afraid of touch. Touch is excellent. Um, we handle ourselves in such a professional way. You forget about whatever your hang-ups are after you tried it for the first time, and I welcome you. Come and try it out. Well, the one thing I have to say is when I went to Nina, uh, different than any therapist that I've gone to before, she said, undress to your comfort level. Right. And it's very important. Yeah, yes. and because a lot of people think, oh, I have to be naked. Mm -hmm. Well, I jumped off, out of all of my clothes. I was like, oh, right. <laughs> of course, because I've done massage many times. But if you're not comfortable yet, you can just strip down to your comfort level. So it's and not. whatever it is. It could, right. And it could just be this. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Mm -hmm. If I've, got, I've had people before, they got on the table, I came back, um, they still had their clothes on. So I just work through it. It's like, okay, mm -hmm. I, can, I can do it whichever you feel best because this is your session. Mm -hmm. So that's very important is to establish the comfort level. Absolutely. Definitely a connection. Definitely so. Okay, well, I think that I'm comfortable out of here. <laughs> 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 so we're going to take a little break and well, I'll be back. <laughs> this is what we're going to do. We're going to be right back. <laughs>